we cannot have x to be negative we can't have x to be zero so those two are excluded from the domain of any logarithmic function because you can't take the logarithm of a negative number or a zero so remember that it's always important to consider the domain of the function you're working with or the functions you're working with okay and also we see that you can't have log x to base 2 or log x to base 3 or log x to base 4 being 0 because if you obtain 0 as your answer then this becomes undefined we also do not want undefined in rational expressions so it means that we have to exclude negative values of x we have to exclude 0 as the value of x we also have to exclude 1 because it the logarithm of 1 to this base or any of these when x is 1 you're going to have 0 as the denominator and then you're going to have an undefined expression so let's just start with getting the uh, the domain out of the way so we know that the domain is such that um, you're going from 0 to 1 Okay, because you can have zeros, I mean values between 0 and 1, but you can't have 0 and you can't have 1, and you can also have all values that are greater than 1 up to infinity. Okay, so now that we have this cleared, we can just solve this. Now, how do we solve this? Straightforward. You can see that the three expressions have three different bases, but they have the same argument. So why don't you say... Since there's something similar to all three terms, I may as well do change of base so that I give all of them the same base and I might just have something I can work with. So watch this. 1 over log x over log 2. You see that? That's the same thing as this if you apply the change of base rule. Okay, so this would be log and this would be log. And then we do the same thing. This would be 1 divided by log x over log 3. Sorry, log 3. It's not a base. Log 2. We do the same thing. Plus 1 over log x over log 4 is greater than 2. So if you're able to do this because we just applied the change of base rule here, now we know that if you take the reciprocal of a fraction, well, you just need to flip the fraction. So what we have right now actually would look like this. This will be log 2 over log x plus log 3 over log x plus log 4 over log x and that's greater than 2 so let's since this has the same base we can just write that that's going to be log 2 plus log 3 plus log 4 over log x is greater than 2 well let's apply the law of addition here if you're adding logarithms, is the same thing as multiplying the arguments. Okay, so we might as well write this as log 2 times 3 times 4. That's going to be 24. Log 24 over log x is greater than 2. Now, remember, we don't cross multiply when we're dealing with inequalities. So don't cross multiply. What you want to do is move this here and have this to be log 24 over log x minus 2 is greater than 0. Let's make this one single rational expression. So um, if you take the LCM, you'll end up with log 24 minus 2 log x over log x is greater than 0. Now this is where we need the critical values. Remember, the critical values will be the values that you shouldn't have, actually. 
because if you have them, something might happen. Okay, for example, if the top expression becomes zero, okay, um, then you can't have something greater than zero. If the bottom exp expression becomes zero, what's going to happen is you will have a, an undefined expression. We don't want undefined expressions. So let's get the critical values from the numerator and the denominator and then do our testing. We're going to test what intervals will satisfy the inequality and then we'll be, be happy. So let's get our critical values. Okay, so for the numerator, for the top part, we're going to have log 24 minus 2 log x equals 0. Okay, we equate both to 0, and then we're going to have that um, 2 log x equals log 24. Well, let's take this 2 back up there. We're going to see that x squared equals 24. And then x will be equal to plus or minus square root of 24. And that's where we stop. Okay, but remember, x cannot be negative. Because, we already said it, the domain of this function is such that x cannot be negative. So the only option we're going to take will be the positive option in this case. Because it's, the negative is not in the domain. The second part is the denominator. We just found... Um, the values for the numerator. So we have, let's just write it here. We say x equals, um, the square root of 24 is 2 root 6, 2 rad 6. So we're going to have 2 rad 6 and or negative 2 rad 6. And like we said, this is not a part of the domain. So we do not choose it. This is the only thing we choose. Now let's see the other critical value here. That would be when log x is equal to zero. Well, the only time log x will be equal to zero is if x is equal to one. Okay, remember that? So log x equals zero means x equals one. Remember, this is to base 10. So you can as well say x will be equal to 10 to the zero, which is equal to one. So now we have the second critical value, which is x equals one. Now, let us see what's going on. So we're going to plug in the critical values that we obtained, which are 2 rad 6 and 1. Well, this is a bigger number, so this would be here. 2 rad 6, and this is 1. And we want to test regions and see what regions are possible. Okay? Remember that even if you go down this way, the farthest you can go is up to 0. So we might as well just, since there's a limit here, we might as well put 0. Now to the right, it continues to infinity so we don't need to worry about that okay so let's test the regions so what value here would we plug in here so that things will become um, positive remember we need to be positive okay so we go back to this function um, log 24 is a positive number if we put in a number less than one it's going to be let's say 0 0.5 the log of 0 0.5 is going to be negative Negative times negative 2 is going to be positive. So you have positive plus positive over, oh, this is going to be negative. Remember, we're using a fraction, okay? And that will make this negative. So it's positive over negative, which will give us a negative, and that means it's not greater than 0. So this area is negative. So we cannot accept answers from this side. Let's go to the middle here. So let's pick a number from here to here. I would pick 2. 2 is a good number. Okay, if you bring in 2 here, the log of 2, well, is positive, And positive times negative 2 is, is negative, but it's smaller than the log of 24. So you have a positive answer on top and a positive answer if you put 2 here. So you have positive, positive over positive, which means this is positive. Okay, looks like a good region. Let's look at a region beyond 2 rad 6. Any number beyond 2 rad 6 is going to give us um, the logarithm of 2 rad 6 multiplied by 2 will end up being bigger than log 24. And if you divide it by that same positive value, you're going to be getting a negative here. Okay, you can do the testing, but that's what's going to happen. So at the end of the day, what we have is that this region is the only region that satisfies this inequality. Okay, so our effective region 
x is such that 1 is less than x and x is less than 2 right 6 so this is one way to write your answer if you learned something in this video make sure you give it a thumbs up you give it a share you give it a good comment in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video until then don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living bye bye